Hi guys, my name is Precious. Thank you so much for coming back to my Chanel or channel. It really doesn't matter. Um, so if you're coming back for the first time, my channel, we're going to talk about lifestyle. We're also going to talk about money because that's what I like. Oh, by the way, by the way guys so this video is not sponsored or anything this video is not sponsored by easy equities i'm not affiliated with them even if you do sign up at the end of the video i will not get anything in return but anyway uh let's get started so in today's video i want to talk about um why everyone needs easy equities why especially especially if you are south african and you are a millennial or you are over 18 years old or you are about to turn 18 or you planning on turning 18 basically what is easy equities easy equities is uh, an investment platform right it's an online investment platform and it's literally about buying stocks it's not trading because trading is is the buying and selling of stocks right trading is you buying something and then tomorrow you are selling it because it made a profit and then like tit for tat to me is that easy equities is a very very easy beginner friendly uh, or everyday people just like you and me and basically um what it is is it's a it's a starter platform for people like you and me who aren't millionaires yet you know people literally like working class middle class even upper class people can use easy equities I, I guess they could like put in millions of rands and just buy everything from everyone um but anyway it's very usable it's very very user friendly so guys i have my pc here so if i look down it's because i am um looking for no the reason why i wanted to tell people that they should have um they should make an easy equities account is because buying stocks is very very easy from there it's super super easy buying stocks from easy equities so all you need to do is just open an account register you need fika documents so that's like your id document um proof of residence um account that you have a south african bank account like your like if you use capitec fnb standard bank african bank um net bank or whatever you need proof of that and your i think that's it id identification card proof of residence and proof of account i think the proof that you have a bank account right and that's it right so firstly you go to the website you register right you register put in your id number and you just literally follow all the examples you follow the examples you you follow like the prompts you follow the prompts to so what they give you and then you just take it from there you send in your documents so you actually have to like scan your documents maybe at like an internet cafe or at school or in your office or whatever you scan in your documents and then you email it to them maybe after i think about five days or a week or maybe more but it really doesn't take that long right they will get back to you if your fika documents are approved right if they're not approved then I'm not sure why FICA documents would not be approved. Maybe you have a criminal record or I don't know. Maybe you are a robot. Um, your FICA documents will be approved. Once they are approved, then you can kind of get your hand into it using a demo account, right? So a demo account is an account that isn't real, right? So you're not using real money. It's just like fake money that they put in your account and um, you can like just play with the settings. Just like playing, playing around with it and seeing if you... Um, understand and seeing if you like it and things like that right so once you have registered once you have fikered all your documents right you've sent in all your documents to um fikering them then you can actually start putting in money so this is the great part this is the really really great part about easy equities it's that you can start with any amount like it's that simple you can start with 50 rands or 100 rands 250 300 rands 500 rands so it's this thing where it really kind of um 
it's so fun because it makes you be money savvy it may it forces you to kind of let's say at at the end of every month let's say you have i don't know 500 rands left instead of blowing that 500 rands now you know that you have an easy equities account you can kind of invest half of that amount into your stocks okay so let's say you have 500 rands by the end of the month and you can only afford to put in half of that amount how much is that that's 250 that's literally as low as you need you don't need to have thousands and thousands of rands you don't so i guess that's kind of the reason why i'm doing this video as well it's because i don't come from a rich family i wish i did but i don't which is fine because we're making it work and you can make it work as well right so so in at easy equities they give you options right so you have a easy equities czar account so that's south african rands where you where you have stocks from the south african uh from the johannesburg stock exchange right so that's your czar account and then you have your tfsa account that's your tax-free savings account right so if you guys want more information on that um, I can tell you about it from my understanding like very simplified so please comment down below if you want some um, maybe pointers about that but anyway you have Zara account where you buy stocks provided by the Johannesburg Stock Exchange the JSC then you have an a separate account um, called TFSA that's your tax-free savings account right so your savings and your investments are not taxed whatever you put in let's say you put in 250 and then you get all interest and all of that stuff if let's say by the end of 10 years you get like 2 million your 2 million will not be taxed you will get it as it is so that's great the third um account that they give you is your retirement annuity so that's you kind of planning for retirement right so let's say you are 21 years old right now you put in 500 rands every single month and by the time you are 65 i don't know 2 million or i don't know 3 million or whatever so that's your retirement annuity and then the other one it's usd all right so here you have um you have access to foreign markets you have access to american markets because it's trading in dollars right so you have um Let's say Apple, Tesla, Airbnb, Vanguard, and um, and then you have Easy Properties. So Easy Properties is for another video. Really, really excited about that. That's for another video. So you have literally five platforms where you can just like trade and play with your money. So for the purposes of this video, I will talk about Czar account, right? So the JSE stock market we can trade there so personally i trade in all of the accounts right so well except except retirement annuity i don't i don't have so i have um my account in the czar tfsa usd and easy properties right so i'll tell you all about that later on if you want to know about it so now that you have your 250 inside your czar account you now have a plethora of stocks to choose from you have so many things to choose from so what I usually do is that whatever I spend my time in whatever I whatever I am a consumer at I will buy stocks of that right it's basically like being a part owner of whatever you uh, spend money at so if I drink beer or if I drink black label or if I drink Hansa, guys, guys, or if I drink Moe, or whatever, right? If I drink Savannah from Monday to Sunday, I'm a consumer, right? I give um, South African breweries my money every single time. So if you are with Easy Equities, you can buy a part of SAB. So it's basically like your money is working for you. You know, you're not drinking your money away. No, you are drinking what you own, right? Because... If you own a part of SAB and you are putting in money at SAB every single day buying savannas, your money is not going to waste. 
think of it like that your money is not going to waste right so for example um usd account right if you have apple products right you have an iphone you have a macbook you have airpods you have an iwatch whatever so you're spending so much money so many rands guys an iphone se is like nine thousand rands okay cool so you go to apple you consume all their products you basically putting money into this this company how about owning it as well how about owning a part of it as well right so i feel like we have to think of that we have to shift our mindset from consumers to um people. we want to own it too we don't just want to be consumers we don't just want to be sidelined okay um so i have some apple products and you know what i did I bought stocks in Apple. So I went and searched the USD account. I put money into the USD account. Obviously it converts the rands, right? So from rands to like dollars or whatever, a part, a fractional, uh, a fractional um, stock into Apple. So now I can have peace of mind knowing that I'm not 100% throwing my money away by giving Apple so much money every single time they have a new product because I'm also investing in their company. I'm also a part owner. Another example, Zara. I love shopping at Zara or okay. Let's let's like, let's say jet or pep or, um, Woolworths or Markham's, right? You shop at pep, you shop at Mr. Price, right? So if you shop at Mr. Price, um you are being a consumer but if you then buy a stock buy a piece of mr price then your money is working for you your money is is part of the the, the cycle it's working for you right so what we then need to do is find the stock name for mr price right so because mr price um jet Markham's, Woolies, and all those things are retail stores. They are owned as a group, like they are owned as a bundle, right? So they have a certain name where they are all together. You go and find it under your Easy Equities or Zara account. You put in 250 every single month, every single month, every single month. It's all about diligence, guys. It's all about diligence and the fact that you're putting it every single month. What do you know? What do you know? Now you are part or part owner of the company that you spend your money in. McDonald's, for example, you consume McDonald's. Okay, fine. Let's buy McDonald's as well. I consume uh, petrol, right? So you have a car and you go and uh, fill in petrol every single week or whatever. Okay, you are a consumer, right? You're buying petrol. How about then you take your 500 rands, put it in the petrol stock so that it works for you. Your money just works for you. That's just how it is, right? So um, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki, talks about the fact that rich people or wealthy people have this kind of mindset where they're not consumers. They make their money work for them. So guys, I feel like we can do the same. I will give you like a short run through of um, the Easy Equities platform and how you can kind of like navigate it. So please bear with me. Um, I will show it to you, I think, on the screen. If right now, as you can see, I'm going to show you just how you can navigate through the platform and how it looks. So if you can see at the top, Easy Equities are funds to invest. I actually have 256 rands to invest so right now um what i'm doing here is i chose one one stock or one company it's an oil company kio and um my on my funds to invest i'm actually going to buy uh just a piece of it or like a piece of a share and from my 250 rands I just use 100 rands and it'll tell you give you a message congratulations you've just added to your portfolio and it just shares zero because i didn't pay the the whole amount the whole amount is probably like three thousand rands i don't have that i only had like 100 rands anyway so now i'm going to take you through um like their their question page and 
you will see that it's a how how can we help so they give you a run through of what you need to know any questions you can like a frequently asked questions as well there's a whole setting up your account making your first investment getting funds into investment um account it's like literally a help page and getting started they literally take you through the whole process to make it easier for you right um and you can also just watch a short video it's like a tutorial video provided by easy equities platform themselves also i just wanted to say that in terms of um funding your account uh if you are with capitec bank it's very very easy because they have actually worked together so they've linked uh, these systems together so that you can just seamlessly make deposits into it through Capitec Bank. But if you don't use Capitec uh, account, do you use maybe Absa, FNB, Standard Bank, or uh, the likes? Then obviously the bank deposit, the EFT deposit, can take about 24 hours or maybe 48 hours to reflect in your Easy Equities account if you don't have Capitec. And that's about it it's not that complicated at first like to figuring your documents might be a little um like tedious but it can be done once you do that then it's really just smooth sailing and i do advise you guys to just read 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 everything before you do things also read read before you choose certain like um companies or certain like um you know things to put your money in because once it goes red and it goes red often you begin to panic and then think that oh my gosh all your money is going to be lost and stuff like that but also rule of thumb is that please always always invest with money that it, you, with money that not you can afford to lose but with money that is like left left over with leftover money any leftover money you have just put it there Next thing that I wanted to say is that, for example, if you, let's say if you don't use easy equities or if you don't put your money away somewhere and you put your money at a bank, at like a, like a normal bank, a traditional bank account, right? Let's say a 32 day bank account at NetBank or APSA or Standard Bank. Okay. I put in 250 at my 32 day bank accounts, which is what I used to do in university, right? So let's say you put in that money for six months. By the end of six months, how much will you have at the end of six months um, in your APSA account? You will probably have 258 rands, 30 cents. I mean, in six months you've made what eight rand profit that's that to me does not make sense right it really doesn't make sense and then you go to them and, they, and then you ask them to explain and then they're like no inflation rates no your interest is two percent and you're like two percent like okay let's calculate and they're like no ma'am you must come back and you're just like okay okay but like this is not working like it, it's not working the math is just not coming together it's not if you put in 250 into your easy equities account i feel like it's a much better vehicle it's a much better way to grow your money it's a much better way to make sure that your money works for you it's a much better way to make sure that your 250 works within the market to make you more money your 250 is like a golden egg that makes other golden eggs right so what that is called that's called dividends right so those things are called dividends whereby if you put 250 into mcdonald's for six months if the mcdonald's company does really really well for six months they will kind of give you a percentage into your original amount 
those are like interest right but that interest is very 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 substantial like you can actually see a difference so for example you put 250 after six months mcdonald's has done really really great and they will put um 58 it'll probably be i don't know like 350 or 400 or whatever right but the thing is is that there's always a risk to everything right so there's a caveat to every single thing especially the stock market if there's this whole notion of you must always invest in things that you can understand which is true right so that's why i don't understand bitcoin therefore i will not put my toes into it but i will learn and i will make sure that i understand it so that you know i can make sure that I'm so for example i started investing in easy equities um in university second year right so from second year university until right now i've maintained my account in 2019 2020 2021 so i've had my portfolio for five years so this is the fifth year right and that's the thing with investing it's long term so guys you can't put your money in there and then expect to take it out um in december then if that's the case please put it in your apps account or in your 32 day account because that's very short short term like literally that's that's short term but for easy equities it's intended to be long term that's when you can actually reap the benefits because of inflation and because of compound interest right so that's why investing is really beautiful it's such a beautiful concept because of compound interest right and compound interest works with time and time we talk about long term to um maybe midterm sorry midterm to long term so for example i've had my account for five years only this year did i get substantial dividends right so um i think a week ago i will show receipts a week ago i got um 500 rands like 490 something right let's just run it off to 500 rands for the purpose of this video so i got 500 rands deposited into my uh um czar account because my stock or the stock company that i bought has been doing really really well so the point i'm saying is that after five years that's when i started seeing very good dividends why it's because of the power of holding on the power of not selling too soon right so i had put in i think like a thousand rands and i would always get dividends and like three rand something something and listen i would get discouraged i would get really really discouraged however because my friend told me that listen you need to stay the course this is about investing okay you you you, you can't go and put it in then then every time you see a dip you want to take it out then what's the point right that's not compound interest at its best so it's only this year where i started seeing very fruitful dividends so what i'm saying is that you need to put it in for the long haul so if you are 18 years old right now and you start right now with your 250 and then you are very um consistent and diligent and then you put it in for a couple of years maybe by the time you are 25 26 you will see a very 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 good balance in your easy equities account and that's what we want having your money work for you instead of just being a consumer all the time right and it's very different from saving because saving is just putting your money in a bank account for a certain amount of time that's it when you save money you will get it as it was literally if you save 250 for five years you will get 250 maybe eight rands on top of it but when you invest because investments use compound interest right so then you will probably get a lot more um, dividends added on top of that and that's what we want ultimately so if you found this video valuable i would appreciate it if you um liked put a comment or a question if you have a question or anything else um, and also just subscribe um, as well and share with your friends and um, in the next video I will talk about easy properties
because that's also something that i'm really 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 excited about and um so far it's going well and by the way guys i'm only explaining this how i understand them and also i'm not a financial advisor i learn from my friends so who are older i try and kind of copy their their strategies into my life as well and so far that's what i'm i've been doing so i hope that by the end of this video you will have some sort of information and um understand why i think you need easy equities also if you are not south african you can open an account with easy equities as well by the way guys i just wanted to say that easy equities is not a get rich quick scheme this is not a scam because i find that some people whenever they don't understand something they are very quick to call it a scam it's not a scam it's on youtube there are tutorials that you can do and also um I started watching Nicolette Mashile, the financial bunny on YouTube. I was watching her videos religiously, right? And that's how I kind of got to understand how these things kind of work. Like maybe get a grasp of how they work. Thank you so much. Bye.